Are you ready for your second round? <laughs> <laughs> so I don't, I don't, I, realistically, I don't think we can do this. I'm, we have a bus waiting to pick council up, take them at, at 545, and it's five minutes from now. I doubt we're going to. It's very short. But, it's it's uh, actually very short. Oh, it's coming at six? <laughs> I guess the hotel. <laughs> <laughs> I, promise, I promise this was ending at six. Yeah, yeah. We were breaking. Okay, we should. You want to keep going? Sorry, Joe. Okay, I guess we'll go on to the next concept. Wow, you guys are tough. Okay. What, is there one more that we're going to do? One more. <laughs> this is the related initiative. This one's easier. Okay, so this is the related initiative working on developing genomic technologies for non invasive sample collection methods. So there's currently a wide variety of uses for dried blood spots as a type of non-invasive or less invasive sample collection method. They're used for a number of different screening and monitoring programs for diabetes, testing for drug levels such as alcohol consumption, HIV testing, lipid levels, for newborn screening, as well as tests of renal function. And what this proposal is looking at is that blood spots and saliva have a lot of advantages. They can be stored at room temperature, they're more readily collected, they're easier to ship, and they allow you to start doing things like remote collection. Therefore, having technology that would permit large-scale DNA sequencing and genomic analysis of such samples would be of considerable value to a number of fields. This SBIR STTR technology development RFA's goal is to focus on technology development relevant to nucleic acid-based analysis of non-invasive samples. This would include the development or adaptation of current technologies for using these types of non-invasive samples. It would be relevant to samples of the newborn period as well as other clinical and research settings that would benefit from samples that could be collected in more remote locations, for example. And all of these applications would require to maintain or improve cost effectiveness, sensitivity, and quality, at least equivalent to that of whole blood. So we're really looking for them to be an advance upon current technologies. Projects that might fit within this are things such as refining existing technologies to be able to obtain um, from these types of non-invasive samples DNA sequence, epigenomic or transcriptomic data, and potentially developing new sample collection methodologies such as a new filter card or paper that would lend itself better to being able to provide higher quality samples. And we would like to include all sorts of different non-invasive sample collection methods not limited to saliva or dried blood spots. And for this initiative, we're anticipating funding from the SBIR STTR set aside for three to five awards, with NHGRI committing roughly $1.5 million per year for a total of three years. And our goal would be able to encourage participation from other ICs, such as NICHD, which was partnering with us on the other initiative. And with that, I would like to thank the same folks who worked on the other initiative and see if you have any questions on this one. <laughs> Just a technical one. When you say yes. non-invasive, you still are meaning blood stick. We are still talking no. about dry blood spots. We're trying to come up with a, a way of framing this that's but, other what, than whole blood. And what are the other fluids? Or, I mean, you're talking. What are you thinking? Sputum? Is that the so? Saliva would be another option, like buccal swabs. Okay. So these are technical channels. But this is a good example of there. There will be uh, traditional data from 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 blood spots, and this sort of technical uh, study will give some idea of how well genomic information uh, replicates the same information and sometimes may, may see other things, is that right? And, and can we develop better technologies yeah. for being able to extract genomic information from these types of samples? Uh, aren't there a number of other technologies that are already available and uh, are being tested or have been tested for Jeff, do you want to? Yeah, I think there are some. I'm not sure if they're being used in newborn settings, but there are some other storage and, and collection technologies. That's part of what we hope to capture. You get a lot of companies applying. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yes, they're small business yeah. awards. This is all SBIR. So the whole point of this is to, this is all companies. Yeah, I think 1.5 million per year for three years.
Any other questions? Either it's not controversial or we've worn you down. <laughs> you like this one. Okay, can we get a vote then? All in favor? Any opposed? Any abstentions? Okay, 